Welcome back, everybody. Tell them what your name is. My name is Weldon. I'm the helper of the oh, day. I don't think they understood you. Try that again. Hi, my name is Weldon. I'm the helper of the day today. In super, in super still, they will be coming again today. Ooh, yes. So let's have some fun with her today. And who's my other friend over there? Kinsey, tell them how old you are. Four, still four. Still four. Um, I need to run up and grab the timer so because I forgot my watch, so that I don't forget to invite Stolian. So why don't you girls tell them what the plan is for our day today? We does, have a very busy day today. Does anything does anything look different on me? So since Super Slowly is going to come today, we're going to do a few songs with her and then our time will end. That's the only thing. Do, do you this think the book that I chose is really silly? Maybe I can show you a this few is of the different pictures. On me. Please. Hmm? This is really different on me. Okay, you're too close to the camera. Excuse me. I'm trying can to show them a few pictures. All right. Thank you all. Well, we'll show them this book when it's time to read it. Thank you, though. I know. I just... Great idea. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten. It is it is Friday, May twenty second, uh, and thank you for joining us. Let's just get right into our day today. I feel like we spent so much time chit chatting in the beginning, um, and let's figure out whose birthdays are today. So. We have birthdays to celebrate today, May 25th. We have birthdays to celebrate tomorrow, Saturday, May 23rd. And then on May. And we have birthdays to celebrate on Sunday, May 24th. So how about we save the Sunday birthdays for on? Nope, because then we also have Monday, which reminds me, we will not have class on Monday. If your birthday is on Monday. I will say your name on Tuesday, okay? So today, Friday, May 21st, the birthdays that I know about are Reed is turning one, Baku is turning five, Jack is turning six, Annika is turning four, Brandon is turning five, Theo is turning two, Colby is turning six, Ben is turning four, Nicholas is turning five, Ava is turning five, and Claire is turning five. Tomorrow, May 23rd, Kennedy is turning three, Kayla is turning five, Brian is turning six, Ethan is turning five, Sloan is turning five, um, Callan is turning five, and Dean is turning two, and Sunday, May 24th, Bryce is turning five, Haley's turning one, twins Oliver and Johnny are turning five, Arvin is turning five, Nathan is turning five, and Bowen is turning two. So if it is your birthday over this Memorial Day weekend, happy birthday. Let's sing. Happy birthday, birthday Happy, birthday Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. All right. Woo! Let, we have a very busy day today. We have some new popcorn words to talk about. We have some silent E. Um... Uh, a silent E oh. lesson to learn about, well, and our dear friend, excuse me, our dear friend Super Stoli will be joining us again today. So, let us see how we are feeling today. Grab my guitar. Alright, and my pick. No, here. One right here. I got one. Thank you, though. Emotion are we feeling today? I am feeling happy. Why are you feeling sad? Uh, I don't know where 
my my one my um two feet Polly Pocket is. Your little two foot Polly Pocket is? Okay, well maybe we can fix that later yeah. today. Well I already know where my one foot is. I found it. Great. Then that should make you feel happy, right? It's right in my um poppy house that's broken. Okay. Well else, how are you feeling today? That's also how I'm feeling happy because I get to see Daddy tonight. Awesome. And, um I'm feeling also a little sad because mommy has to leave okay. tomorrow. Well, we're not talking about that right now, okay? Hello, everybody. Tap your head. drum set over here. Oh, well, I get well, good she got all of her drums set up when she's playing and the drums over there. Too. What's up, Pins? She gets to use two drums. We did not brush your hair today, did we? And, and she gets to use a lot of instruments. Well, you're, you still me. step on your ukulele. But, like, but well, you're me. choosing to use your ukulele. Let's sing another song right now. Because I like it so much. It's my new Llama Glama song. All right, we're going to sing this one, and then we're going to sing... A little bit later, we're going to sing Wells' song that she chose today, which is a Lori Berkner song called I'm Gonna Catch You. And maybe we'll sing one other one before Super Stoli joins us. So, the Llama Glama song, that's Llama Glama, goes like this. everybody. I want a llama glama. And then the ears are shaped like bananas. So we can go like this with our ears. Shaped like bananas. And then we're wearing, they're wearing funky pajamas. So they're wearing funky pajamas. And then, so come on over here and I'll say it in your ear. I want a llama glama. Okay, let's try that again. Can you girls do oh, the motions I, I do just this one time while I'm playing? Because I can't do the motions and play the guitar at the same time. It's a little too tricky. So, Wiles, why don't what you see What if you strum and play? Uh, well, it mommy. doesn't really work. Mommy! Well, well, you forgot. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay, come on over here so they can see you. All right, so what do we do on the part that's I want a llama glama? I want a llama glama? Point to ourselves. I want a llama glama. What do we do next? With ears shaped like bananas? Ears shaped like bananas and wearing funky pajamas. Funky pajamas. So come on over here and I'll say it in your ear. I want a llama glama. All right, let's try that. You guys ready? Point to yourselves. Here we go. I want a llama glama. Point to yourselves. I want a llama glama. Ears shaped like bananas. With ears shaped like bananas. Well, I want a llama glama. And then 
can just dance around on the verses. Position my camera, my phone, so that you guys can see what she's doing. All right, a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school, so we remember. I October, November, and December. We know our months, so we end the song here. Wait a minute. We know our months, so we end the song here. All right, nice job. Okay, Wells, let me scoot my camera up a little bit. What is our scooting the camera up song? Dun 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 all right, Wells. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna do the Sunday Monday song, the days of the week, or the cha cha cha? What would you like to do? Remember the one that we've already done. So when I say Sunday Monday, so I each one will clap. Okay. Point to the words. I'm not sure what we're doing. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, nice job. Did that go 
everyone. Yeah, that was great. Um, okay. Whew, what day of the week is it today, Wells? It is... How are we going to figure that out? How about we count and then eat You want to count first today? Okay, go ahead. One. Are you nice enough? Kinsey, I need you to stop doing that, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22. 22, and say our pattern so that we can see what number, what what color it's going to be. Um, black, black, red, red. 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 Black, black. Black, black. What does a 22 look like, Wells? I what do you think? I think it's a... Two and a two, because if I see that's a two and a one, and I think that two and another two, if it's twenty-two. Do you think she's and then right? It's Friday today. Bum ba da ba, twenty-two. She's correct. Around and back on the railroad track. Two two two, and another around and back on the railroad track. And she's showing us we are in the month of May. May. And what day of the week I is it? Why? Why? Well, you both too stinky. Her foot is not stinky. She took a bath last night. Her foot is not stinky. Well, yes, it was to me. Okay. Well, maybe if you're not laying on the ground and sitting in the chair like where you're supposed to be sitting, then her foot wouldn't be near your face. Right? Right. Right here. All right. Please don't pick it. my nose. Um, today is what day of the week? Please stop talking. What day? Tell us. Show everybody what you're going to put up there. Can you use your words and tell us, please? I don't think they can understand you. Right now. Friday. Friday. What water does Friday start with? F. 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 R. I. D. A. Y. Can you put that up there, please? Friday. All right. Hey, Kinsey. Kinsale. If you were in the blue class right now, would you just be laying on the floor while Mrs. K was teaching you? Or would you be sitting up nicely? I'm right here. I'm asking you a question. What would you be doing if you were in the blue class right now? I don't know. Do you think you'd be just laying all over the floor like that? I don't My, remember. If you don't well, remember, then I'll tell you. No, you wouldn't be doing uh, that. No, um, sometimes you can sit on the, on the floor. floor. That's fine. Sometimes you're on the floor. Right, but probably not when Mrs. K is giving instructions and when we're learning about things, right? No, yes, he does. Mm-hmm. All right, well, if today is Friday, can you put the red I ones back, please? I don't want you putting those Aww. up there like that. I kind of like how you it looks. You don't even know what that's looks cool. Really cool. I don't really like how you're talking to me right now. Really it's not a very kind way. School. Well, I do because Mrs. K talks to me, okay? Thank you for sitting up nicely. Come on, Wells, take off. Okay. And then everybody can see from the top in case right. they're older, they're able to read easier, and down here they're also able to read. So in case there's two people trying to read at the same okay. time, there's two. If today left. is Friday, what will tomorrow be? Saturday. Saturday. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. Saturday. Put that up there. Um, while she's doing that, repeat after me. Today is... Friday, your turn. Bueller? Today is Friday. My turn. Yesterday was Thursday, your turn. Yesterday was Thursday. My turn. Tomorrow will be Saturday, your turn. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Very good. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Out today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it (coughs) cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? I believe Wells just ran upstairs to check the weather, so maybe you can go take a peek out your window and see what the weather is like when you are. Or you can stick, well, if if whoever's at home with you says it's okay, you can stick your hand out a door and feel. Is it warm out? Is it cold out? Is it cool? Is it hot? What is the weather like 
where you are. What did you find out, Wells? It's a little foggy. A little foggy. Thing. And it's warm. And, and it's warm? Like in between cool and warm. Okay. So what are you going to put up like for today? Is it cloudy? Foggy and cloudy? Um, yeah. Yeah. Where is the cloudy? I oh. have foggy but not cloudy. All right. So... We don't have foggy on our graph here, so we will just color in. I know cloudy is. Cloudy. Yes, you said our next. Huh? Here you go. Oh, I wish it was a thin wing because I really wanted to color yeah. in some paint. But at least that cloudy is the tallest. Hmm. You really need to brush your hair. Can you scoot over, please? Here you go. Thank you. Can you scoot over, please? Here you go, well. Well, say game mm -hmm. Say what, Kenzie? Well, say game you. Think. 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 Very good. Well, thank you. Well, say thank you. Think. Well, well say thank, thank you. Good job. Kenzie's still working on the TH sound. She likes to go like this with her TH and make a F sound. She likes to go thank. Thank you. It is not... Thank you. It is. Well, thank you. you have to say All right. Well, let's take a look at. You. Can you say thank you to? You? Yes. Thank please you. accept it and say thank you. Thank you, but you and don't need you... to hold that that close to my eyes, and I can't see what you're holding. Just take it, please. Thank you. Well, let's take a look at our graph here. What type of weather has happened the most in the month of May so far? Mm. You're in the way. Scooch over. Cloud, 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 cloud. Cloudy. How can you tell that? Because it's all the way up the seven. Ah, she pulled her finger all the way up and then pulled it over to look at the number. Nope. Put that away, please. And it is seven. Which type of weather have we had the least amount of? Windy. Windy, and how do you know that? Because it only has one. Mm -hmm. and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. Are there any two types of weathers that we've had the same amount of so far? No. Ooh, that was a tricky question, wasn't it? You're right. We've not had any... Of the same type of weather. Hey. All right, it's time for some movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are going to do a little tutti ta. Rainy has um six, and partly cloudy has three, and sunny has five. All right, you're going to help me with the tutti ta. Remember, we talked about this earlier today. Okay. Wait, that was your song? No. My song's it's not a song. This is a movement. Okay, ready? Right, but mine gets Well, yours will be next. Okay, here we go. Do you want to lead it, or do you want me to lead it? I will lead it. I will lead it. You want to lead it? Okay, I'll be the... I'll, Wells and Kenzie are going to lead the tutti tag. No, I want you to lead it. I and mean, Kenzie's helper day, she gets to do it. Yeah, it is Wells' helper day, so you can do it with me. You're going to lead it, and Kenzie and I are going to be the follow-alonger. You okay? mean the well, participators? Participators, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stop doing that, please. Go ahead. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Elbows back. Let's start with thumbs out. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Elbows back. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs out. Thumbs out. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Tongue out. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta ta. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Eyes. Tongue out. Tongue eyes out. shut. Eyes shut. 
Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Knees together. Tushy out. Tushy out. Tongue out. Tongue out. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Turn around. Turn around. A tiddy tap, 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 a tiddy tap
Uh, what else? I have hair on my head. Kinsey, please stop. Can you find the on? O N, on. There it is. I bet there's more than just that. There's just that one. And the last word we're going to find, put a one here. The last word is the word at. A T at. Okay, can you find it? Like Super Stoli will join us at 9.45. Oh, I don't want to. At. Like. I start at. Oh, uh, I can't think of another. Why can't I think of another sentence that has the word at in it? I. Uh, I start I can't at. think of it. You start school at. Miss 8 o'clock. Kindergarten. Okay, find the word oh. at, please. Mommy, what when are we going to be done? Almost. Bye. When are you going to be done with Miss Ben's kindergarten? In like 30 minutes. 40, that's a lot. 30. High five! Good job. That's gonna be a lot of Well, time. we got we have about 14 minutes until Super Stoli joins us, and then about 15 minutes with Super Stoli. Okay. All right. So, um, um sir, um, put that please. one in there, please. I felt like I didn't see that one. I saw something over there. There's not. Can you put the one there, please? Well, Let's count to see how many popcorn that. words we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do we make a six? Hey. A line and a loop. Mr. Six rolls a hoop. You have like a circle and a loop. Let's try that again. A line and a loop. Why is it a line and a loop? Because that's it's how we make it. Like a loop and a loop. A line and a loop. It's like a dia a little bit of a diagonal line. There you go. Good job. No, that doesn't look like a six. It's fine. All right. We're going to read a story. Wait. Let me show right there. You can do that while I'm starting the story. We have a lot of things to accomplish in a short amount of time. All right, this book is called Library Lion by Michelle Knudsen. Okay, illustrated by, oh, illustrated by Kevin Hawks. Now, this book uh, came with a cover on it, but it, the cover has been lost over the years. So that's why you don't see a title on this story, okay? I'm actually gonna put this book back here. Kins, can you please stop doing that? Mom, I'm pretending to the, be the bad guy in the um, new troll movie. Okay. The Library movie. Lion. But don't keep turning those, Kinsey. Yeah, or yeah you could break a string by doing that, okay? Yeah, but you know how okay. I broke my string? One, two, three, <laughs> eyes on me. One, One two, two, eyes on, on you. you. All right. One day, a lot. Okay, please stop doing that. If you don't stop making noises with your ukulele, I'm going to take your ukulele and you're not going to use it right now. Okay? Leave it alone. We'll worry, we'll worry about that later. One day, a lion came to the library. He walked right past the circulation desk and up into the stacks. Mrs. McBee ran down the hall to the head librarian's office. Mrs. Mary, Miss Merriweather, he called. No running, said Miss Merriweather without looking up. But there's a lion, said Mr. McBee, in the library. Is he breaking any rules? asked Miss Merriweather. She was very particular about rule breaking. Well, no, said Mr. McBee, not really. Then leave him be. I'm actually going to scoot a little, can you move your feet? I don't want to hurt your feet on accident. I'm going to scoot a little bit closer because some of these drawings are kind of hard to see. Let's see. The lion wandered all around the library. He sniffed the card catalog. He rubbed his head against the new book collection. Then he padded over to the story's corner and went to sleep. No one was sure what to do. There weren't any rules about lions in the library. Soon it was time for story hour. There weren't any rules about lions at story hour either. The story lady seemed a little nervous, but she read out the first book's title in a good, clear voice. The lion looked up. The story lady kept reading. How do you think the story lady is feeling right now with a lion sitting and watching her? A little scared. Maybe a little nervous. Oh, maybe scared you will run away. The lion stayed for the next story and the story after that. He waited for another story, but the children began to walk away. Story hour is over, a little girl told him. It's time to go. The lion looked at the children. He looked at the story lady. He looked at the closed books. Then he roared very loud. Roar! 
Miss Merriweather came striding out of her office. Who is making that noise, she demanded. It's the lion, said Mr. McBee. Miss Merriweather marched over to the lion. If you cannot be quiet, you will have to leave, she said in a stern voice. Those are the rules. The lion kept roaring. He sounded sad. The little girl tugged on Miss Merriweather's dress. If he promises to be quiet, can he come back for story hour tomorrow, she asked. The lion stopped roaring. He looked at Miss Merriweather. Miss Merriweather looked back. Then she said, yes, a nice quiet lion would certainly be allowed to come back for story hour tomorrow. Hooray, said the children. The next day, the lion came back. You are early, said Miss Merriweather. Story hour is not until three o'clock. The lion did not budge. That means he didn't move. Very well, said Miss Merriweather. You might as well make yourself useful. She sent him off to dust the encyclopedias until it was time for story hour. The next day, the lion came early again. This time, Miss Merriweather asked him to look all the envelopes for the overdue notices. Look at that big, long tongue and those teeth. Miss Merriweather doesn't seem to be bothered by this lion, does she? I think she's starting to like it. And I so think are so. the kids, because the kids get, like, help finding the Maybe. book. Maybe. Soon the lion began doing things without being asked. He dusted the encyclopedias. He licked the envelopes. He let small children stand on his back to reach books on the highest shelves. Then he curled up in the story corner to wait for story hour to begin. At first, the people in the library were very nervous about the lion. But soon, they got used to having him around. In fact, he seemed very well suited for the library. He was, his big feet were quiet on the library floor. He made a comfy backrest for the children at story hour, and he never roared in the library anymore. What a helpful lion, people said. They patted his soft head as he walked by. How did we ever get along without him? Mr. McBee scowled when he heard that. They had always gotten along fine before. No lions were needed. Lions, he thought, could not understand rules. They did not belong in the library. One day, after he had dusted all the encyclopedias and licked all the envelopes and helped all the small children, the lion padded down the hall to Miss Merriweather's office to see what else there was to do. There was still some time left before story hour. Hello, lion, said Miss Merriweather. I know something you can do. You can bring a book back into the stacks for me. Let me get just get it down from the shelf. Miss Merriweather stepped up onto the step stool. The book was just out of reach. Miss Merriweather stood on her toes. She stretched out her fingers. Almost there, she said. Then Miss Merriweather stretched a little too far. Ouch, said Miss Merriweather softly. Mr. McBee, she called after a minute. Mr. McBee! But Mr. McBee was at the circulation desk. He could not hear her calling. Lion, said Miss Merriweather, please go and get Mr. McBee. The lion ran down the hall. No running, Miss Merriweather called after him. He put his big front paws up on the circulation desk and looked at Mr. McBee. Go away, lion, said Mr. McBee. I'm busy. The lion whined. He pointed his nose down the hall toward Miss Merriweather's office, but Mr. McBee ignored him. Finally, the lion did the only thing he could think of to do. He looked Mr. McBee right in the eye, then he opened his mouth very wide, and he roared the loudest roar he had ever roared in his life. Roar! What is the lion trying to do right now? It's trying to get some help. He's trying to get help for Miss Merriweather because she fell down and she couldn't get up. And what is happening with Mr. McBee? He's getting scared because he thinks he's going to do something. Yeah. Mr. McBee gasped. <gasps> You're not being quiet, he said to the lion. You're breaking the rules. Mr. McBee walked down the hall as fast as he could. The lion did not follow him. He had broken the rules. He knew what that meant. He hung his head and walked toward the doors. Mr. McBee did not notice Miss M did not notice. Miss Merriweather, he called as he walked. Miss Merriweather, the lion broke the rules. The lion broke the rules. He burst into Miss Merriweather's office. She was not in her chair. Miss Merriweather? he asked. Sometimes, said Miss Merriweather, from the floor behind her desk, there is a good reason to break the rules, even in the library. Now please go call a doctor. I think I've broken my arm. Mr. McBee ran to call the doctor. No running, Miss Merriweather called after him. 
The next day, things were back to normal, almost. Miss Merriweather's left arm was in a cast, and the doctor had told her not to work too hard. I will have my lion to help me, Miss Merriweather thought. But the lion did not come to the library that morning. At three o'clock, Miss Merriweather walked over to the story corner. The story lady was just beginning a story for the children. The lion was not there. People in the library kept looking up from their books and computer screens, hoping they would see a familiar furry face, but the lion did not come that day. The lion did not come the next day either, or the day after that. How do you think all the people are feeling? How sad that the lion didn't come. Yeah. One evening, Mr. McBee stopped by Miss Merriweather's office on his way out. Can I do anything for you before I go, Miss Merriweather? He asked her. No, thank you, said Miss Merriweather. She was looking out the window. Her voice was very quiet, even for the library. Mr. McBee frowned as he walked away. He thought there probably was something he could do for Miss Merriweather, after all. Mr. McBee left the library, but he did not go home. He walked around the neighborhood. He looked under cars. He looked under behind bushes. And he looked in backyards and trash cans and tree houses. What do you think Mr. McBee was looking for? The tiger. The lion? Yeah. Ah. Finally, he circled all the way back to the library. The lion was sitting outside looking in through the class doors. Hello, lion, said Mr. McBee. The lion did not turn around. I thought you might like to know, said Mr. McBee that there's a new rule at the library. No roaring allowed unless you have a very good reason. Say, if you're trying to help a friend who's been hurt, for example. The lion's ears twitched. He turned around, but Mr. McBee was already walking away. The next day, Mr. McBee walked down the hall to, Mrs. to Miss Merriweather's office. What is it, Mr. McBee? asked Miss Merriweather in her new sad, quiet voice. I thought you might like to know, said Mr. McBee, that there's a lion in the library. Miss Merriweather jumped up from her chair and ran down the hall. Mr. McBee smiled. No running, he called after her. Miss Merriweather didn't listen. Sometimes there was a good reason to break the rules, even in the library. Kinsey, please stop doing that. The end. All right. Wells, we have time for one thing. Now, I know that you picked out the cake for the silent E, and I know that you picked out a song, but it is basically time for Super Stoli to join us, so I'm going to let you choose one of the two things for us to do right now, and we'll do the other one on one of your days next week. Okay? Um, I don't really want to do the song anymore. You don't want to do the song? You want to do the cake right now? Okay, we're going to do this really fast because it is time for us to have Super Stoli join us. So, right now we're going to work on a word family for just a couple of minutes. And the word family is ache. the ache family. Like the cake? Like a cake. Like mommy or ache. Like. Like mommy ache cake rhyme. Ache and cake rhyme. They and sure right. do. All right. Now, there's something special about the ache family, okay? The ache family is not a word, is not a family that you can sound out. It has something very special about it. And it's called the silent E. All right, just a minute, Kins. The silent E. Yes, she's ready to join us. The silent E is an E that comes at the very end of a word. And do you know what that is so special about that silent E? Instead of the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, making their noises that we've been, their sounds that we have been learning, like what sound does A make? Ah. Ah. Guess what? The silent E makes that vowel say its name. What is A. the name of that letter? A. A. So instead of saying ack, we see that E and we think to ourselves, okay. I am going to say the name of that letter instead of the sound, and that is the letter A. So we know that this is the ache family. What else belongs in that family, Wells? Rake. Rake. What sound goes at the beginning of that? Cake. Mommy. R. 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 Mommy. R. Rake. That's okay. We'll finish this. Cake. Cake. Yep, this is no. the C for cake. Mommy, I said cake. You said what? Cake. Take. What sound does take start with? T. 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 Very good. The letter Shake. 
Ooh, that's a good uh, blend. What two letters make a sh sound? S H. Shake. Like a chocolate, like a chocolate shake. What else? What makes milk chocolate? Milk milk chocolate. What else can be part of the ache family? Ella. What about something that starts with a w sound? Shoe. Wake. Wake. Very good. A wake, wake is something when you are in a boat and it makes waves. We call that the wake. What wake. else? Quake. Ooh, good one. That's a Q U. Quake. Like an earthquake. What else? Rake. Like in dinosaur time. What about when we make banana bread? What do we? What word would we use for that? Bake. Bake. Did we? B bake. A shake. Banana bread. Yeah, we did shake. Gake. That's one. That's a made up word. That'll work. Trake. Gake. All right. Let's read these Trake. words, and no. then we're gonna invite. I have another one. What? Trake. What? Can you not be on that, please? You're gonna break it. What do we have in our own? Um, you know. We have rake, take, shake, wake, quake, bake, and gake. Rake. Yeah, we have it. All right, repeat after me. No, yes. Make. Nake. Zake. All right, we're, we need to move on because super sick. Zake. Zake. All right, that's it, okay? Okay, can you all repeat after me? Rake. Rake. Take. Take. Shake. Shake. Wake. Wake. Quake. Quake. Bake. Bake. Gake. Gake. Nake. Nake. Zake. Zake. Very good. All right, it is time for us to join Super Stoli into our feed. Now, the last time we did this, which was last Friday, Welcome back. Um, some people reported that when we merged Stoli's, Super Stoli, into our feed, they were um, kicked off. So if that happens, then log back in to... Um, not log back in, get back on Facebook, maybe go out of Facebook, come back in Facebook, and come back to our page, and you should be able to find us, okay? And if for some reason that does happen to you and you can't come back in, um, when we're all finished, which will be in about 10-ish minutes, um, you can also go back in once the live feed is over and rewatch the end of that, okay? So, ooh, I need to find Super Stoli and see... Let's see here. Where? Um, let's see here. There we go. Approve. We're adding. It says it's adding. Mommy, what is Connecting. And here we go. Hi, Super Stoli. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Good. We can see you. Can you see us? I can see rake, take, shake, <laughs> wake. <laughs> there are so many letters in, or words in that family. Uh, there I are. forgot. Lots I think we should write a song about it. That could be a good idea. Yeah. All right. All right. Are you guys ready well, to do a couple songs? Yes. For everybody watching, this is Super Stoli. She is a dear friend of mine going way back, uh, like 13 or 14 years. Um, yeah, pre-children for you. Very pre-children, that's right. <laughs> um, All right, we are going to follow your lead now. Cool. Well, I can't really see you guys on the ground, but if you can see me, that's okay. Wherever you are, I need you to sit on the ground or sit in a chair, whatever it is. We sit can't, on your bottom. We can't see you because uh, we have to look at the back of the phone, so I'm yeah. trying to pull you up on my computer, so we'll have a little bit of a delay. But you just keep okay. doing what you're doing. And All right. So <laughs> wherever you are, if you can hear me, that's the first part. So I just want you seated. And if you're sitting on the floor, put your legs in front, not crisscross applesauce, because we're going to lift up our legs one by one and wave hello with your foot. Can you do that? Oh, fun is that? Here, this is called the sock song. And today I'm wearing my Wonder Woman socks for you. Can you see them? Oh. <laughs> So I'm going to sing a part that says, there was a sock right here on my foot. And then you guys are going to say, on my foot, lift up your leg and wave hello. Let's see if you can keep it up there. It also turns out to be a good exercise for your quadriceps. Are you ready, legs? All right, we're ready. All right, goes like this. There was a sock right here on my foot, on my foot. On my foot. Now I don't know where I put it 
Maybe it's under the bed. Or maybe someone put it on my cat's head. A sock is not a hat for cats. Let's do it again, but switch to the other leg. There was a sock right here on my foot, on my foot. Now I don't know where I put it. Maybe the vacuum sucked it up. And now it's all covered up in dust. I'm not gonna wear that filthy thing. Who's wearing dirty socks right now? There was a sock right here on my foot, on my foot. Now I don't know where I put it. Somebody is tickling my toes. Tickle, tickle. And milk is spilling out my nose. I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk, but I might cry if I can't find my sock. You wanna help me look for my sock? All right, but hold on to your noses because this is gonna be a stinky adventure. All right, watch my legs and do what I do. Here we go. There was a sock right here on my foot, on my foot. Faster, faster, faster. Now I don't know where I put it. It's hard for me to do the moonwalk. When I've only got just one sock. Keep your legs going and clap your hands at the same time. There was a sock right here on my foot. On my foot! Now I don't know where I put it. This problem is now two. Cause I can only find one shoe. Oh, only one shoe, yay! <laughs> Woo! Nice That's job. called the sock song. Love it. All right. So we have time to do another one? Yep. And mommy has a sister that's called the Aunt Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, this one we're going to dance with our arms. Now, this is a song that goes way back to before, to just very long ago. Okay, we're going to put our hands together like this. This song is called Peace Like a River. It's oh. a traditional song. We're going to sing it in sign language and also um, in English and in Spanish. So if we have any Spanish speakers out there, this is uh, going to be for everyone. But let me teach you all the parts first, OK? All right, I'm getting monitored, so I'm just going to take these out. Hopefully you can. Here we go. Wave your hands side to side like this and spread them apart. That means peace. We have peace like a river. And we have so there's like a with the sound. All right. And there's also the Hmm. All right, it's freezing up on us, but it's not freezing up live. All right, I think it's freezing a little bit. Yeah, it is free. Is it frozen over there? Yeah, I can't. Hmm. Nothing's moving. It's freezing up on Super Soul, I and now I Super Soul is Come on over here. All right. I think it's and why don't you roll some ABC and I'm going to see if I can figure this out. As you all know, I am not tech savvy, um, but we got one song in with Super Stoli, so we're gonna finish with one last song with us. So we're gonna get to do your song. Um, I'm sorry, Super Stoli, I tried to find you and then I couldn't find you, so we'll get you back another time, okay? All right, everybody, last song of the day. We are gonna do the song that Wells wants. 
and it is a Lori Berkner song called I'm Gonna Catch You. You better run. You guys ready? Mommy, you can do this. Here, you can do this. Here, you can share. Share with your sister. Here we go. You guys ready? We do not do that. That is not okay. Go sit there. No, you go sit down and have a little time to think to yourself. You do not whack the drumstick out of your sister's hands. That is not okay. Go. I will have you come join us in the song one more, in, a, in a minute, but you need to sit there for a minute. Woo! Thank you for joining me. Sometimes we all just need to 
take a little time to recharge. And I believe that that is what my children need right now. So they have gone upstairs to start recharging and then I will recharge and we will all be back here on Tuesday together. So I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Um, enjoy your time together some more. <laughs> And I will see you on Tuesday. Remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always be kind.